The Fisher Music Center is the home of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Simply known as the Orchestra Hall when it was first constructed in the early 20th century, this building was eventually rebranded as Paradise Theater in 1941, where renowned jazz artists such as Ella Fitzgerald and Duke Ellington would perform. Following heavy renovations throughout the 1970s, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra moved back into Orchestra Hall. In 2002, the building was renamed after Max Martin Fisher, a prominent Detroit businessman and philanthropist. Fisher's philanthropic work throughout Detroit is well documented in the Maxim Fisher Papers, housed at the Walter P. Ruther Library at Wayne State University. In 2014, several members of the orchestra performed at the Ford Assembly Plant. This performance represents the dual nature of Detroit's identity as a site of both blue-collar labor and artistic expression. In placing the Detroit Symphony Orchestra in a manufacturing center, Ford engages in a focusonomic tactic that works to re-articulate the topos of the Ford factory from a globalized corporate entity to a familiar local space. Jeff Rice points out that categories serve the production of meaning. In this case, Ford works to shift the category of the factory from the discrete Fordist logic of the assembly line to the fluid, interconnected logic of a musical performance. Through this, Ford is claiming that, much like an orchestra hall, the car factory is also a site of cultural production. As the flitting, airy notes of the trumpet intertwine with the melody of the French horn, the viewer witnesses a shift in the role of technology in Detroit, as the relationship between human and machine is re-articulated from an antagonism, i.e. automation leading to loss of jobs, to a relation in which human and machine work together in concert.